What if I were to tell you just a few weeks ago, I found a product that I was able to scale to $5,000 a day in sales. And what if I also told you I didn't find this product on Facebook or AliExpress, nor did I find it on any other softwares like AdSpy. Huh? Well, ladies and gents, you're in luck because in this video, I'll be sharing an untapped website to find untapped dropshipping products. Let's get it. What is going on YouTube fam? It's your boy Yash. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new, then welcome to it. Now this is probably going to be one of my shorter videos on the channel, but like I said in the intro, just a few weeks ago I found this website and I think it's a hidden gem. See, I always recommend and implore to look for dropshipping products that most dropshippers don't really go out and look for. Now especially as a beginner, I get it, sometimes you don't know where to look for it and that's why you clicked on this video. Without any further ado, let's hop behind the screen so you can see what this website consists of and how you can actually utilize it to your advantage. Before we do move forward into the video, ladies and gents, be sure to drop a like on this video and while you're at it, feel free to also subscribe to the channel with that post notification bell turned on as I do post on the channel bi-weekly every Monday and Thursday. So this is the website. This is why I'm broke. This is why I'm broke.com. Don't ask me how I found this website. Quite frankly, guys, I really don't remember. But if I were to guess, I probably found it somewhere on Google or through another article, blog, or website in the midst of doing some product research and validation. But essentially, these guys have a bunch of products in almost any niche that you can go ahead and think about. Thousands and thousands and thousands of products are on this website. I can probably keep scrolling for days. 2,000 years later. But one thing that I do like about this website is that there are different categories. Over here, you can see all the products that are new on the website, which is also the homepage. Also gifts by recipient, men, women, dad, mom, kids, couples, so on and so forth. Over here, gifts by occasion, which we'll probably get to in just a little bit. Since the time of recording this video, it is Q4. And then gifts by category, and then also more categories as well. So I think that's very cool. And depending on the types of products that you're looking for in particular niches, this can definitely help you narrow that down a little bit further, more precisely. So like I just mentioned, ladies and gents, the time of recording this video it's currently november the peak or the heart of q4 black friday cyber monday christmas the holidays are all just around the corner so for example let's go to gifts by occasion and let's go to secret santa right these are gifts that people can buy for themselves or for other people really it's up to them and I really just look for, you know, items that look super, super cool that just go ahead and catch my eye right off the bat. For example, like this sushi sock set. No one really goes about thinking of drop shipping something like this, which is why this website is great. So what I typically do is I will go to check it out and it'll take me to the Amazon listing of that product in which you can go ahead and learn a little bit more about the product, maybe take some pictures, so on and so forth. But what I also like to do is I will right click on the image and I have this extension called AliExpress search by image. It's super, super clutch. And when I click over here, search AliExpress, Express by image, I can basically see if the product is available on AliExpress. Can I go ahead and source that product? Now, sometimes that exact product or the version or variant won't be available, but something very, very similar will be available. For example, um, it looks like these socks are pretty much similar. So again, this is very, very cool, right? This is a great gift. It's a great humorous, witty, funny product that I think a lot of people can give as gifts and even buy for themselves. And of course, it is an evergreen product as well. Let's go back to the website and continue scrolling. So some of these products, I know that they're not going to be available on AliExpress or they've already been in the market before that do have a lot of market awareness and reach. So I'm just going to go out and skip that product. For example, like this three in one charging dock, maybe something like this would have done super well a year or two or three years ago, but not anymore. This AccuPress 
pressure foot massage slippers also did really, really well. Also this blanket sweatshirt. So again, let's just keep going down. Ah, the infamous moon lamp night light. So again, you'll see a lot of uh, quirky, cool winning products that did super well last year. So again, I could keep scrolling guys. You'll probably find a bunch of other products. Let's actually go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. Here is the burrito blanket. Uh, this is, oh wow, this is very cool. The LED light up knitted ugly sweater hat. Let's go ahead and right click on this. Search AliExpress by image. There you go. So there's a bunch of variants for this specific product on AliExpress in which you can definitely go ahead and sell. And it seems like this is a new product, 2021, 2022, when it usually says that in the product listing or title, that means most of the times it is very new. So again, I think this makes an absolute amazing gift. People can wear at events, parties, so on and so forth. So with that being said, let's actually go to another category. Let's go ahead and go to, um, let's see, maybe gag gifts again guys there's so many different categories but actually let's just stick to gifts by occasion since we're kind of on the topic of q4 let's go to stocking stuffers for men okay this was a very 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 lucrative product the socket grip again guys there's just a ton of stuff on here um this pop it pal pimple popping toy did i say that right okay i did <laughs> so that did super well these custom air fresheners, I think that would do super well. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, wow. Brew house beer chiller stick. So it seems like this probably keeps your beer nice and cold. A lot of people drink, you know, not only during the summer months, but also during the holidays and whatnot. So let's see if this is available on AliExpress and boom. Here you go. It is absolutely available on AliExpress when it usually says hot sales, new revival, right? Stuff like that. That means it's usually doing very well in the market right now. So again, this is a great evergreen product. Not only can you sell throughout Q4, but maybe even potentially during the summer months as people do drink more alcoholic beverages and typically do want a lot of these alcohol beverages cold. So again, guys, there's just a ton of products. You can probably spend hours and hours and hours on this specific website. But I do want to go ahead and really go over the criteria of what to look out for dropshipping products. So first and foremost, you definitely want to pay attention and keep in mind of pricing because you are going to be paying for marketing, for advertising, assuming Facebook ads, and also you're going to have cost of goods sold, right? Your COGS, what you're actually going to be paying your supplier in terms of buying the actual product. So I definitely recommend at least looking for products that have a $20 profit margin. If not, my main rule of thumb is having a 2.5 to 3x markup. So let's say the price of a product is $5 and the shipping is $3. That means your total cost price per unit is $8 ship. That is what you are paying out of pocket, assuming you're offering free shipping, which you definitely should. That means you should definitely be able to sell or mark that product up 2.5 to 3x more, right? So you should definitely be able to sell it for $24.95 at the bare minimum to have a good chance of being profitable. Second, this is a big one. You have to understand Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as social media platforms. No one goes on these platforms, these social media platforms to go ahead and buy, right? No one really wakes up or is just any time during the day going like, Hmm, let me go on my phone and scroll down my newsfeed and see what kinds of products I can go ahead and buy. So we definitely have to have that wow factor behind that product, right? Really makes people go like, wow. Oh my God, wow. This is very cool, I definitely need this. So with that being said, it needs to have that impulsive buy, really has to have no guilt factor, and also, of course, has to be a no-brainer for people. And then last but not least, this is what you should be aiming for. Obviously, seasonal products can be very lucrative. I'm not saying don't sell Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, summer, Christmas products, but at the end of the day, you do wanna aim for scalability and longevity of a product, so, always make sure it's mass targetable and mass approachable. You don't want something super, super micro niche down like an underwater basket weaving kit. What? Okay, I'm probably going a little bit over the top when it comes to that, but you guys get the point. So essentially, 
you want the product to have very few limitations, biases, and hindrances attached towards it, meaning regardless of interest, age, gender, location, all these factors shouldn't really matter in the decision of the customer going ahead and buying the product. And also, if it is more broad, it's good because you can go ahead and take multiple marketing angles, multiple approaches behind that specific product so you can adapt and pivot if it is a little bit saturated in the market at the end of the day saturation is only really what it means to you or how you really look at it just a really quick example to bring this to life the back posture corrector the infamous back posture corrector was a collective nine figure product why it did so well was obviously it followed all of these other reasons and guidelines but there were multiple marketing angles you could take with that product right it appealed to a a lot of people whether someone was pregnant maybe someone was a stock trader sitting you know at their desk all day all along maybe a construction worker that's doing heavy lifting has a bad back bad spine so like i said before there were so many different approaches and angles you could take with this product and that's why people milked it really really crazy well there you guys have it ladies and gents i definitely recommend checking out this website there's tons and tons of products on this website that you can at least use as inspiration and gain ideas to find other potential winning dropshipping products just keep in mind to always be flexible and always adapt and pivot in terms of your product research and validation strategies it will only benefit you in the long run and sooner or later you'll find that winning nugget as always if you guys do have any questions thoughts or concerns then feel free to drop them in the comments down below because I do reply to each and every single one of them furthermore ladies and gents feel free to check out out all the links and resources in the description down below because they can and will be very very helpful for your Shopify dropshipping store thank you guys so much for tuning in once again I really do appreciate each and every single one of you I appreciate that remember to keep working hard and more importantly continue staying awesome until the next one your boys out peace